So this is a desktop power supply that I built and I, I use it pretty often when I'm working on electronic projects. Now I want to improve this because um, I've got a couple of things that I need to sort out with this. So if I just take the lid off and you can see, well, one of the main problems here is the the diode bridge here, the, um, the full bridge rectifier. See, I've just made it out of some diodes that I had hanging around. So I've got four quite big diodes there. Um, but they were recovered from some piece of equipment that I took apart. And then there's a big capacitor there as well to remove the ripple after the uh, the regulator. So I want to swap that out because at the moment it's just kind of floating around in space, which I don't really like. And also I have a replacement part for this now. So let's have a look at that. So this is the part that I've got. So. This is a you know dedicated bridge rectifier with nice big tabs on it. I forget what the maximum current is, but it's you know well over engineered for for this here. Um, so I don't think this provides more than about three amps, three three to four amps. So this is you know it's it's too too much for the job. But I like the style of this and I know that I will never overstress it. So I'm going to wire that in and also because it's got a nice mounting hole at the bottom I'm going to put one of these um, nylon screws in through the through the bottom to hold it in place so that it's not all rattling round in there. Now I, I've i mislaid the data from this because it's been a few months since I bought this but it's relatively easy to to figure out what's going on here so you see there are some markings so this one pin that's faced the wrong way from from all the others is marked plus so this is obviously the positive output and then there's another marking here ac so this is one of the acs so um but i'm not sure whether these are the ac inputs and this is the negative so so we need to buzz it out using the multimeter. So this particular multimeter has got a, a diode mode, so I'll, so I'll use that. So if we select the diode mode, right, we know that this is the positive. So let's start with this pin here. So if we see if there's a diode between these two points and that's reading about 0.5 volts so we know that there's a diode going in this direction let's have a look at this one which is marked AC and that's also 0.5 volts so this th there's a diode going in this direction also like that uh, so it looks like these two diagonal opposites are the AC input and then this would be the minus so if I put um, so if I put my probe on here now then that's reading yeah so nearly 0.9 volts which means that there's two diodes going in this direction or two diodes going in this direction so that's that's a diode that's a diode that's a diode and that's a diode so let me sketch that out so drawing the pins on here like that if I draw in green so we figured out that got a diode like that, a diode like that, a diode like that, and a diode like that. So 
so that's the positive this must be the negative and then we've got the AC like so or another way to think about these bridge rectifiers is um, you can think of it as like a, a stack like this where this is the minus here this is the plus down here and then in the middle you've got a place where the AC goes in like that and um, well you can work it through yourself and prove to yourself that works but basically you know you've got all the diodes facing in the same direction towards the positive and that's that's the way that a, a bridge rectifier works so having identified the, the correct pins, so plus minus and the two ACs, then we can now start to connect it inside the unit. All right, so let's take some of this apart. It's a bit of a solder monster, this one. it's getting hot from the diode but the solder blob doesn't really want to melt let's see if I can get the capacitor off finger very difficult to get this apart let's just take it off from this end just want it out the way for now the cap off. I'm tempted to just cut the wires here actually because it's so... I obviously wound the wires around before adding the solder. So maybe I'll just snip them off. these are color coded so I've got the uh, red is positive and black and red is the negative so yeah there's the offending diode network so with the bridge rectifier out the way and all the wires clipped back I think I might take the opportunity to just drill a hole in the bottom here so that so I've got a place to um, to mount the uh, the new rectifier. There's quite a bit of space in there, so I've got a bit of leeway for where to put it. So I'll try and put it in the middle there, where it's not blocking any of the any of the wires.
Right, we'll put the positive down at this bottom left hand corner so I know where it is. These wires, these yellow wires are a bit short. We should just about reach. That's not ideal. It doesn't have to be super tight, it's just to stop it rattling around in there really. So I've soldered that first AC wire on over here now and on this side to give me a bit more leeway I've put a bit of solid copper wire here to just extend it a little bit. Now I've realised that what I really want is to have a, an inline fuse here so I want to protect the transformer against being shorted by the the um, uh, buck module here um, but I don't have a fuse I've just been looking for a fuse fuse holder I can't find a fuse holder at the moment so what I'm going to do is just temporarily I'm going to wire it up directly and then uh, again I'll come back to that later when I've got a fuse holder and uh, and put one in Okay, so with any luck now, if I connect up the multimeter to these other pins here, I should be getting the uh, the DC voltage out. So let's try and do that. There you go. It's reading eighteen point five volts. So that looks good thought I'd have a look on the oscilloscope here so you can see so that's reading 19 volts peak to peak there's obviously a lot of ripple on here so you've got all these ripple artifacts from the um, bridge rectifier and it's reading a frequency of 90 odd Hertz which is sort of distinctive of having a full wave rectifier So after we put the capacitor in, the um, uh, the ripple will be much decreased. So I've extended the the legs of the capacitor. So put these big thick bits of uh, single core copper cable. I'll find some sleeving to put on these as well. But basically the idea is here, I'm going to make the capacitor stand up on the side here where there's space and solder it onto those those two tabs right so we'll check it with the capacitor in place now so i've got it soldered to the tabs and i've got all the sleeving on um, so let's switch it on to see what the voltage is now with the uh, the ripple anti-ripple capacitor in place that's a bit of plastic there Right, so just before I switch on, just to double check, make sure the minus of the capacitor is on the negative terminal. Because if you get these, these capacitors the wrong way around, which I did the last time I changed something in this power supply, if you get them back to front, uh, the capacitor goes bang and a massive amount of smoke comes out. So I don't really want that today. So here we go, so power on, and that's now reading 32 volts, so that's pretty good. So, so far so good. So quick check on the uh, oscilloscope again, so now we've got much 
flatter DC coming out. It's reading 29 volts average. And so it's not reading a frequency anymore. So that ripple capacitor must be doing a good job there. So then the last job is uh, to connect up these wires to the positive and negative tab. So I've shortened the wires a bit. There was a bit too much length there. So I've got still got plenty of length inside. So I'm just going to tin up these wires and um, connect them to the positive and negative terminals. Right, so the moment of truth. It's all wired up inside there now. So here we go. There we go. No, no smoke. No fire. And there you go. Under load, we've just got just over 27 volts as the input to the buck converter. So there we are, just a simple upgrade to my uh, power supply, make it a little bit better. And uh, there we go, we're back in operation again.